May my offerings be acceptable to you, O Lord. Amen. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. Someone scatters seed. My seeds were sown here long before I was baptized. My parents were married here in 1989, and my grandparents, Ron and Linda Fent, were avid members of this church and were nurtured here during their illness. So my parents knew there was no other place they wanted to raise their family but Union Church. I remember, well, actually I don't, when I was baptized. Most of you here have been baptized, and when you were baptized, you were probably baptized alone, correct? Not me. I had to share my day, my spotlight, with another little baby. Thanks, Mark Novella, for not waiting one more day to be baptized. <laughs> but really, this wonderful place helped introduce me to the wonderful world of performing. I was fortunate enough to be cast as a fluffy sheep way back in 2002 at the ripe old age of four. I remember how much I loved singing, dancing, and buying in the spotlight. I took that part very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that there was a young boy who goes by the name of William Hennessy, who was blessed to be standing next to me. And one would say he really got into it. And by getting into it, I mean he was jumping around, flailing his arms everywhere. And here I am, tiny little Rachel, squished against this very energetic boy, as I was trying to properly portray a sheep. <laughs> anyway, thanks to these church pageants, I've been performing ever since in many different shows. This sparked a flame in me that has opened up the doors, or rather the curtains, to the world of performing arts. Not only have I done church pageants, but I started doing school shows in elementary school, where I was the hippest Betsy Ross in the American Revolution musical, and then I moved on to middle school shows, and then high school shows, where I was a radiant pig who's known to most of you as vulgar. And now, I'm working on community theater and hoping to start professional acting as soon as possible. There's a quote by the wonderful Tina Fey, which I feel fits in very well here. She said, you can't be the kid standing on top of the water slide overthinking it. You have to go down the chute. To me, this quote ultimately means that your childhood has peaked, it's coming to an end, and you can't just stand there with fears and worries. You just have to dive right in, right down the chute into adulthood. So this is it. This is growing up. Hakuna Matata, in the words of Timon and Pumbaa, it means no worries for the rest of your days. Union Church has taught me many things to help me become a respectful, responsible, caring, loving adult. But those aren't the only things that everyone here at Union has taught me. I've learned to be a Christian, to carefully listen while others are speaking, and care about what is being said. A couple of years ago, a friend of mine was going through a troubling personal time and chose me to confide in. I was able to help him through that difficult time because of my experience is here. This church, Union Church, the church and the congregation that raised me, helped shape me into who I am, gave me strength, and gave me the wisdom to aid a friend in need. Union Church has also taught me to care. Recently, I've been volunteering my time at the local animal shelter, spending time with the homeless puppies and cats. I don't do this because I'm being forced to. I don't do this because I need it to look good on my college application. I do this because I care. I care about these animals who don't have a family to unconditionally love them. I enjoy spending time with all of these animals because when I take them outside of their kennels to play or to walk, they display genuine happiness, which brings me genuine happiness. Just to get out of those fenced-in cages and roam in a large field. I'd have to say, though, my favorite part is definitely cleaning out those litter boxes. <laughs> no, but really, I love what I do, and I know that these animals truly love this human interaction. Union Church has also opened my eyes to how fortunate I am. A few months ago, a couple of us from youth group helped out with one of the families from Family Promise, and that showed me how lucky I am to have what I have and who I have in my life. I truly enjoyed being in that family's company and playing games with the two children. As a Christian, it made me feel special and warm-hearted to be able to help out those who need it and bring happiness into their lives. Thanks to Union Church, I've built many friendships, especially for the youth group that I know will last a lifetime. I remember the first time I met Brittany. She was in charge of story time during vacation Bible school, and all of the kids were so excited because 
Oh my gosh, Miss Brittany is so cool. Story time's the best. I can't wait. And here I am, seven years old. Like, who is Miss Brittany? Why does everyone love her so much? What's so cool about her? Well, I still haven't been able to answer that last question. <laughs> but I found out who she was and realized she was pretty cool, pretty chill, pretty hip. And Brittany, with God by her side, has shown me that you can be cool or chill or hip and live by the hand of God to act as he would want us to, to be the Christian he wants us to be, and to show the world that you can have fun, that you can be chill, while loving the Lord, loving your neighbor, and not judging others. I've learned through our worship and music to praise God from whom all blessings flow, and for me to realize that this little light of mine is going to shine. Jesus said in the Gospel of Mark, someone scatters seed. Sunday school Bible lessons, vacation Bible school, a youth group, my family and my teachers, and Brittany have helped me on my journey to where I am today. I thank God that he has helped me become the person I need to be. I pray that these seeds scattered in the garden of love here at Union Church will grow and help all of us become what God intends for us today to be, just as God has done for me. Amen.